This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Ray. <laughs> yes, 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 you are. Yes, I typed it in the prompter that way. I'm so I going. read it right. <laughs> I read it right. The folks at home don't know what's going on, but you're, you always feel a little silly in the second hour. I do. I feel like the second hour is the silly hour. Just so the, oh, well, yeah. We want everybody true. at home to have fun. If you're making your coffee or breakfast, right. the kids are off to school. Now let's just have some fun. Let's have some fun. And I had a couple of really delicious cookies that Ingrid Fair made for mm -hmm. us, our crafter, our third crafter. Uh, uh, this week yes. on our craft competition. I don't so. know how the viewers are going to pick because I have so far we've had three. We have two more this week, yes. and then the viewers get to vote. And I've loved every single project. Me too. They're all unique. So different. I oh, I love them so much. I, know, I do too. I especially. I mean, not. I'm not picking favorites, but I do like having my face on an ornament. <laughs> <laughs> Is that wrong? Okay, so, well, I don't know if it's wrong or not, but it's okay, Jerry. It's, it's I enjoyed fine. it. Yes. Now, the, she gave us each a tree. One is done and one's not done. Which one are you going to take? I haven't decided yet. Okay, and then we'll split up the um, the ornaments. So yes. that was very nice of And her. I will show, I am so sorry. She submitted her eight foot tree yeah. as the project. Now, she can't transport that eight foot tree to our studio because that's her actual Christmas tree. Right. Oh, we do have the oh, picture. There it yes, is. It's beautiful. you have to look. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at the wood. Look at the the rope. And they hung one thousand ornaments on the finished product. Uh -huh. It's gorgeous. And she said after she posted it that so many of her friends and family were wanting to order one oh, boy, for their house. Busy. Yes, they're going to be busy. She said she's allergic to pine and, and just the dust that comes on, you know, a tree when you keep them year after year. So she wanted to try something different, and she came up with this, and I'd love to see the finished project. Speaking of unique trees, one year, you know what I did? What? I went out. I had a small, small tree kind of fall over. It was very small. Okay. Maybe six foot tall. But it, it was, the leaves were off it. I spray painted it white. And I put it up, and it was just this twiggy white tree, and then I hung ornaments all on. It was so beautiful and so unique. That was your Christmas tree for the year. Yeah. I love that. And you've mentioned the, the white ones, the iridescent. I, I went over to some friends the other day, and they had an iridescent white tree. There's just something really um, nice about those. It's very vintage. Yes. It, and it's just something different out of the box, and that's why I like Ingrid's project. Right. It was just it's out of the box thinking. Yes, I love it. And I also love Elisa Rafa, her out of the box thinking when it comes to weather. <laughs> She's always thinking of creative ways to bring you the weather. Isn't that right, Elisa? I, I do. I like to help you understand in a fun way. So, yes. Yeah, always. Um, we do have clouds clearing this morning to the south and to the east. Uh, that's because a cold front's rolling through, and the cold front is uh, kicking those clouds out. Ahead of the front, temperatures are still about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than they were yesterday because of the south and west wind, starting to get a little bit more of a westerly wind where the front came through already. It is 34 in Springfield, 46 in Branson, and 41 in Fort Leonard Wood. As you head out the door today, we'll have mostly sunny skies and temperatures mild again in the middle and upper 50s. Another beautiful day. So if you're still procrastinating with the lights, do it, do it today. It will be mostly sunny, warm, and less wind. So do that outdoor decorating. Temperatures in the 50s area wide today. We're looking at temperatures dropping into the 40s tonight. And then we'll stay around 50 degrees tomorrow, cooler because of clouds and rain. Starting the clock at 5 a.m. tomorrow, drizzle and fog break out. And then we're looking at round of showers rolling through the Ozarks on Thursday and Friday as well as the system kind of stalls a little bit. So for tomorrow, for Bucket Blitz, we'll be out, Ozarks Fox and Color 10 will be out partnering with the Salvation Army. 51 degrees in that windswept rain, but we'll still be doing our part. The rain forecast, uh, we could get some decent totals in the bucket because of the storm lingering. About one to two inches around Springfield and then some totals could approach two to three inches down to the south and to the east where it might take some extra time for the storm to exit. So car washing days, bad Thursday, bad Friday, and we'll have rain and wind. And then we're looking at some better conditions for that on Saturday. Cla Sorry, I feel like I'm about to sneeze, guys. <laughs> I was like, oh no, no. Clearing skies on Saturday. And then we'll have warmer sunshine on Sunday with temperatures back in the 50s. Elisa, if you need to sneeze, look at a bright light and it'll help you sneeze. They say if you're outside and you need to sneeze, look at the sun or look up at something bright like a what light. Saying? What if you're trying not to sneeze? But that would have been great TV, Elisa. Oh. That was the closest <laughs> that I've ever gotten to needing to sneeze on air. We almost I, saw it! I was like, 
Do you know anything about allergies, allergies right now? Is that what it is? Because I'm feeling a lot of that kind of thing right now, too. It shouldn't be right now because everything is cold, but yeah. maybe happening sooner as we head towards spring. You know what my Christmas wish is now? That Elisa Rafa <laughs> will sneeze on air. That's my Christmas no. wish. I'm also waiting for the day that I drop this thing on air, too. <gasps> oh. Because in order to, for the weather to continue, I have to pick it up. <laughs> so I don't know how that will go either. At least a wrap, that's not going to happen. She's the gift that keeps on giving. She so is. now I'm praying for two things for a Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Only because it would be good TV, Elisa. Yes. It would be. <laughs> Thanks Bless so much, heart. Elisa. Yeah. I love that. Do you think that. about that? Have you ever sneezed on stage when you were trying to sing or anything like that? No, I never have. I haven't. Now, either. when I'm not singing, yes, on stage. Right. But not when I'm singing. So far, that that's not happened either. See me? Yeah. Knock yeah. Knock wood. on wood. Yeah, that is wood. All right. It is Wednesday. It is Hump Day. Yes, but. Here's a caveat. What is the caveat? Some of our most favorite people are in the house today. It's Jen and David. We're going to do some trivia. Don't go anywhere. Movie trivia is up next. I love movie trivia. <laughs> also, I thought of my new novel because of Elisa.